Good morning, Megan. Thanks Hello. for being here with me today. <laughs> so why don't you introduce yourself so sure. people know who you are, what you yep. do. I think that'd be cool. My name is Megan Mazzuto. I work for the International Association of Women. I'm the VP of Marketing and Membership Experience, although I've recently taken on a bit more strategy and operations work as well. Um, so essentially overseeing everything that we do to support and empower women in their own career journeys. Spin spinning all the plates. You, yeah. you, you, pick a, you pick up more plates, don't you? You're like, here, yeah. let me grab this plate. Let me yeah. grab this plate. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a hard time. If I see things that are broken or see things like I have a hard time saying no. And I have you a hard time do. ignoring <laughs> things mm. that could be done better or more efficient or could have a better result. So I, yeah. I think Trying women in general have trouble with that, don't you? Do. I mean, that they like yeah. see stuff broken or they see somebody struggling or they're they see sisters. something that is not right and they're like, oh, I can help or I can do it or let me grab this. Let me grab yeah. that. Because we're fixers, right? And and I think that it's, it's mm. easy to say yes. I personally, if I'm going to say no, I feel like I have to justify it. And I, mm. I don't, I don't want it to sound like I'm giving an excuse. So yeah, sure. I'll do that. Why not? Why not? Mm. <laughs> um, but the last 12 months have been interesting because I have three small kids and the more I say yes to the more complicated it all becomes. And that's right. Well, and, and having people and having, having the kids at home, I mean, you've been at home, the kids are at home, your husband's at home. Right. Mm -hmm. And so then you're saying, saying yes to more stuff at work or outside of work, or even people's putting stuff on your plate that you didn't say yes to. You're trying yep. to juggle all that, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, Gets tricky, but I'm I learning know. to prioritize and and communicate expectations. I think it's important to if if I say yes to something, I I let people know that well, I can say yes to this, but th this might slip. Or I'll do it eventually, but I can't prioritize it right now. Let's let's look at what's what are we truly trying to achieve today, this week, this month, and where does this best fit in the overall schedule? <laughs> so I love that because there, there are I think we've we've worked with a, um, we've worked with gals where their boss of that has asked, "Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do this?" And then they're working more. They're frustrated, and so we use. Um, a template that allows them to say, all right, well, here's all the things that are on mm -hmm. the list. Here's what I heard your priorities to be. This is what I'm going to do first and then next and then next. Is that what you want? Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have it laid out quite so like that. I, mean, I, have, <laughs> I do. I have a whiteboard, right? So I have my whiteboard. Oh, that's good. That's so awesome. Yeah. You can see um, it. Yeah. And, and so visually like, I can see if I add something, I write it on yeah. the board and then I mentally know, okay. And I have red and blue and green and, and track things. But mm. um, to me, if I'm taking on more and more, it's important that things don't fall through the cracks because the more I add to the plate, the easier it is for anything to fall through a crack. And so making sure that there's a schedule and there's priorities and, and that we're just holding everyone accountable, holding me accountable as well. Right. I tell nice. my team, if you don't hear back from me, call me or ping me or do something, because most likely it's just your email got lost in the mix. And I don't want to be the hold up. If, mm. if your project can't continue because you're waiting for one answer from me, then get my attention <laughs> because I don't want to hold up your progress. That's awesome. I think, you know, that's a really nice segue, Megan, into what we're talking about today, which is promotions at work. Why planning is important how do we raise our hand, right? What's, what's the right mix for that? And so, right. you know, what, why do you, why do you feel planning is important when you're raising your hand or you're, you're going for something, you're going for the next level. What does that look like from your perspective? So it's interesting because when I talk about planning and, and careers, I didn't plan my career. Like I, I mm -hmm. never would have envisioned that this is where I would end up. Right. I, I started in accounting and finance. I took six years off when my kids were young. I then pivoted nice. into marketing and went from owning a marketing consulting agency to now working full time at IAW. And right. the for me, I've been intentional about planning now because 
I had or I had always thought I would stay in that consulting world, right? I, I didn't see myself transitioning mm -hmm. back into a corporate job. But when I did, I had to sort of plan out, well, what is that job going to be? And mm -hmm. How am I going to, how is it going to set me up for success? What am I going to take on? How is it going to help my resume? How is it going to help my visibility? What am I going to be able to bring to the table to give back? And I often say I've ended up in my, my perfect job because I love the work that I do, right? Wow. So I love the, the behind the scenes, the strategy, the planning, the marketing, that's all great, but I'm supporting women every day with the challenges that I've had through my career, through my mm -hmm. business. And, and it's really, to me, powerful to be able to take that and spin it into things that are helping others. Now, in terms of raising my hand and asking mm -hmm. for more, that, it, I mean, there's there's two sides to this, right? Because mm -hmm. you can do it, you can frame it as a stretch opportunity, right? You can, you can go and say, hey, you know, I'm thinking about expanding my skills here. Can I take on a role here? And, and take on the work and then show that, hey, I deserve a new role or I want a promotion or I want to move into a different department. Or you can, you can say, Hey, I've mm -hmm. done the work. I deserve more. I, this, mm -hmm. this, I want to get to that place. Um, I think that it's important to, to know in your head where you want to get to and know how big, how big you want to get to, I guess, like how, how high level, but then also have those conversations with people around you, with your mentor, with your coach, with your boss, with your team, so that, everyone's on the same page. Um, and you, so what you're just describing is doing it on purpose, right? So you're, you're, you're being intentional with what you want, why you want it and going after it. But there's what, tell me a little bit more about the idea of I'm aiming to do it and I haven't done it yet versus the idea of I'm doing it and now I want to be paid for it and because I want to be seen very different it. mindsets right they're they really are very different um and I think that sorry my phone's gonna ring and okay. oh yeah that's um, fine that's what it means <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, well, I got this new computer and now it rings on the computer too. And that just throws it. Do you like that? Do you no. like it ringing on the computer? Yeah. I don't think I don't. I'd like that either. No. Too much. It's, it's overload. Everything's um, dinging. Everything's <laughs> dinging. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So two very different things, right? So there's the, you know, I, I'm in this role, but I kind mm -hmm. of see this as an opportunity. Let's talk about what it will take for me to get from here to here. These yep. are my current skills. This is what I currently do. Look at some training opportunities. Look at some mentorship opportunities. Look at what will set me up with, with the ability to be able to go try and do that role. Maybe I shadow somebody else. Maybe I start working on a project in that department. Maybe yeah. it's piece by piece. The flip side is women get a lot handed to us, right? And yeah, you know, I know. end up doing things that were never in the scope of your original role. And or you can't say no, right? You can't or you just no. like you have yeah. a hard time saying and so no. So that's where you have to put your hand up and say, "Hey, look at all these results. Look at all this stuff I did for you. Now it's time for you to take care of me." And I'm I'm of the mindset often that I want to kind of show the proof before I go ask for for more money, right? Or okay, that like I think that. In some, in some cases, in some cases, no. But being able to showcase exactly what you've contributed and, and mm -hmm. making a case for this was my job description, this is my job description, these are the specific, I'm, I mean, you know, I'm data driven. I like, results. I know I love data. I like exactly. quantifying. So <laughs> if you can quantify your, what you've brought to the table in terms of hours yeah. saved or money earned or money saved, or if you can show them a number <laughs> or multiple numbers, that's really helpful to say, I think I deserve a raise or right. I want to see this reflected in my compensation or yeah. I want an extra week off every year, right? There's, there's different ways to negotiate what your full package is. That can be really hard to do. It can be really mm -hmm. hard to, to ask for more money, I think you have to be prepared to hear the answer either way. Mm. And yeah. if the answer is no, are you are you just going to stay, or are you going to talk about how you get that answer to be yes, or are you going to walk away? 
I, nice. And be willing to explore those options too, right? I mean, yeah. and not just say, well, I'm accepting it and being miserable. Then you're going to make the people around you miserable, right? <laughs> which is no fun either. What's your take, Megan, on the idea of collecting the data? And how, how do you collect the data as you're going through your day to day or week to week or month to month? What's your, your tips and tools and strategies for that? So, so I, in most of my roles, I've always had a job description and tied into annual goals, looking at company goals, broken down to department and broken down to individual. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes within those goals, it will define specific deliverables. So if I'm in sales, I know I'm supposed to make this many calls and have this conversion right. rate in this ASP. I can get that data. Now, sometimes it's not as quantifiable, right? All sometimes, right. sometimes you can't, you can't get every single, in that case, you can ask for feedback. You can ask for testimonials. You can ask people in your department, how do they feel about you? Get feedback from your peers. So coming up with anything that shows how awesome you are, right? Yeah. I think it's, and we, we just shared something mm -hmm. about like, how do you, how do you show off without showing off? Because nobody, uh, so, nobody, nobody wants to show yeah. off, but it's yeah. really important to showcase what you're doing and do yeah. it so that you're not bragging, but really being proud of what you've accomplished. And mm. that's a skill in and of itself, right? To be able to actually showcase what you've done and do it in a way that's going to get the attention of the people that really matter. And what was the outcome of that conversation? Or did you not have it yet? Uh, the, as far as the the... How to, oh. how to, how to brag without being, oh, a we jerk, wrote, I guess. We published, we, published a blog post. <laughs> we, we shared some tips. Um, I haven't done this yet. I was just okay. thinking about this the other day because yeah. we have, we have some really big projects that are coming up soon that are launching soon. And I was just thinking about how do I show mm. that we've done this without it being bragging, right? Without it. Yeah without showing off, but really sharing that I'm proud of what I've done. I'm, I'm proud of what my team has done. Mm -hmm. And, and I want to, I want to show that off. Um, and I think that also when you, when you talk about this from a leadership perspective, I'm big on showcasing what other people have done. So sure. not doing it for yourself, to me, it's really important to be showcasing what other people have done as well. And whether I'm, whether I'm leading them or whether I'm working with them, I think that there's this element and women can do this for each other, right? We may yeah. not want to brag about ourselves, but we can certainly brag about each other. <laughs> you know, what's interesting about what you just said, Megan, is we've got a gal that recognized, I would say a few years back in her career <clears throat> that she was bragging about the team, right? Bragging about, you know, the, the folks around her. And then her own identity was getting lost in mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. she wasn't being seen for the work that she was doing. And so she had to find a balance, right. Yeah. To, to elevate the team, elevate the people underneath of her, but also say, okay, if, if I wasn't in the seat, this is what would have happened. Right. Right. Somebody, somebody's running that show. And right. That's, I want, I want to make sure that the people that are helping me to be successful are getting that credit as well. But at the end of the day, if I'm running the show, then it's important that that's recognized as well. But that's exactly, a, it's, it's interesting how it all gets, it's not so easy, right? No, it's, there's a balance, you know, it's like, it's a scale of, you know, had this, those scales, you know, uh, what's your take on a brag book? We, we use, we, we use this concept with our clients to capture notes and kudos and things and you know either in a file or you know or sticky notes or whatever where <clears throat> you can you have the data along the way so that when you're ready to say i'm <clears throat> i'm ready for that next level i'm ready for the money you know have you used anything like that before no, i have not but i love the concept and i think that it can be a really powerful way of pulling it all together because it, mm -hmm. As you're going through day to day, you hear comments, right? You might get you might get a great testimonial. You might have a really great data point. You might have a really big win. And in the span of day to day, month to month, it's great. You feel that 
you get it, you feel it, it's great. Mm. But when you take it all and you put it together, and yeah. you have, like at the end of the month or the end of the quarter, do you have one sheet of paper or do you right. have a whole book? Yeah, right. And if you have a whole book, you should be using that to, mm. to place yourself where you deserve to be. Um, mm. Even that one sheet of paper might be really important. <laughs> but true. when you can look at it cumulatively instead of case by case, it likely paints a much more powerful picture for your own self-confidence, but also to mm. use to place yourself where you're going next. What do you think is your, I mean, what is your number one tip for how you've been promoted and gotten to the next level? What, what, what do you think is the number one reason that you've done that? In your Ask career? for it. Ah, yes. Really raising my oh. hand and saying, I'm ready. I want more. This is my vision. This is, this is what I want to, I mean, this happened two years ago. I raised mm. my hand and said, I want to fix member experience really big yeah. issue. Um, my husband then ended up in the hospital. My career mm. took a backseat. Like I, I reshifted. Right. And then exactly a year later, I had the same conversation and was like, okay, now I really, right, right. This, and this is what I'm going to do. So this is the job. This is what I want to do. This is, this is my idea. Um, but really asking for it. And letting people know, hey, I'm ready for this. It's they might they might have an idea, but if you don't if you don't ask, you're never going to get it. You're never right? going to get it. Yeah, maybe maybe somebody will see it, but the right. chances are it's generally not the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and it can awesome. be scary to raise your hand and ask for it, right? Because you never sure. know what the answer is going to be. But if you don't ask, you're, you're gonna not going to get doing it. the same thing you've been doing That's and. True. and you're going to be more and more frustrated yeah. and miserable. And I think the ask also opens the door to, well, maybe the answer is not now. Maybe it's, maybe, maybe it doesn't work today, but let's talk about what you need to do to get to that point. And, yeah. and let's yeah. build a strategy that allows you to move up to a point that you can get there. And what do I need to do in order to figure to, to move to, into that direction? Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. provided you have leadership that actually is, is helpful in that regard, but you're well, that's, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Assuming. <laughs> that's assuming. right. Right. Assu assuming right. that that's the case. Yeah. Um, and if you're, maybe you're not in the right place. I don't know. I know. <laughs> right. Well, that's, I was going to say that too. I mean, or, or you're ready, your hair's on fire and you're like, all right, well, it's not going to be here, but I'm ready to do this now. I'm going to find some place that I can actually right. do it. Yeah. Yeah, and then they shouldn't be surprised if, if two weeks later. Exactly. Oh, you're like, guess what? Sorry. I, hey, I, I, told, I, I told you I wanted to do this, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. But that's oh. also not an easy thing to go find a no. new job and, and start a no, new job. And so there's, there's big things in that. But at the end of the day, if you're not happy and you're not feeling like you get the support and there's not the career growth for you, then mm. are you really in the right place? Yeah. We call that cultivating our existing garden, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if we're, if we're tilling the soil of our existing garden and planting the seeds and watering it, then, you know, provided the soil's good, then something should grow. Right. Yeah. yeah. But if it's not, then maybe it's time to find a new plot <laughs> of land. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It happens. It does That's right. happen. Oh, uh, yeah. Megan, any other comments that you would like to make as it relates to promotion at work and what women should or could do. Oh, um, I mean, there's, there's tons, right. I could go yeah. on all day about this, but I think really for women, especially the last year has shifted for mm. so many of us, what we're taking on and what we're saying yes to, and how much is just on our plates. I didn't mm. say yes to having my kids home. I didn't know. Right. You would have been like, no, no. But, that's where we are. And I think the open communication, being honest about what, what, where do you want to get to, right? I can plan, I can plan my career path, but if it's only in my head, then I'm likely not going to get there. I need to bring other people in to support that. So whether I go to Michelle and get Michelle to help coach me, I, whether I find a mentor, I have leadership in my own company, but I think it's important to, to share those things with other people. And I, I know that. some companies provide that structure internally, mm -hmm. but I know a lot don't. And so that's, I mean, that's one of the things we try to do at IAW, right, is, is pair people up so that they, they can 
get that confidence and get that insight and, and figure out how do I get there? How do I get to that next yeah. place? Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much for playing today yes. and yes. having this Thank conversation. It's always, always good. Nice it's always me. good. Good to see you. I haven't seen you for a while either. I know. I mean, we haven't chatted in a while. Both of us are like doing crazy stuff. All good, good stuff. So all good stuff. Yeah. Thank so. you, Megan. Thank and you, Michelle. I think we're done. And you have a fantastic day. All right. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.